leadership is something that's really taught. You may have fundamental skills of that will put you in a position of being leader, but truly leaders are taught. doing enough to like fix a problem. It's the second leading cause of death for children. And compared to like, pre like previous years, it just like has been increasing, increasing. The think design process in general and this workshop definitely satisfies the 21st century skills that students need to have. So today we did a one day workshop where we addressed a challenge statement and we did the brainstorming all the way through gaining user feedback and sharing our solutions. I'm involved in the think design leadership opportunity and we're just going over like our objectives to use the think design like process. I learned that human centered design is a way of approaching a problem with emphasis on the person that you're trying to help. Their level of enthusiasm it just soars because they can take whatever they're learning in class and so many things and tackle a real life problem. You'll get one book per table. If the table only develops one solution, then that's fine. That's the one they're going to present. I got into design thinking through a course called Creativity, Innovation, and Design at Princeton University. To make a solution, you can sort of like group ideas that seem like they would go together. All of your design and all your planning, all your preparation should be emphasized towards solving that person's particular issues. Organize club meetings to unite um, and then teach students to manage by journaling, doing sports and spending time with one another. Students have to be able to work with other people, sometimes people they don't know, and they have to be able to share ideas, communicate ideas clearly in order to reach a goal or solve a problem, and they're absolutely doing that in a hands-on way. We need to build trust with our audience in order for us to all like work together. But there are a few other ways that you could implement design thinking curriculum in high schools. Underlying all this is just making sure that they're working on a challenge statement where teenagers themselves or the youth themselves that you're catering to are the end user because I do think that that's how you get them to buy into this methodology is where they understand the point of view of the person that they're solving for and so they get excited to work on it. I just like that this is a very interactive experience and I think that's really good for people to understand when solving problems you can't just focus on whatever you think, you have to focus on other people as well. And by taking the initiative they take ownership, they get fired up, they come up with creative solutions, they band together, they start to come up with ways in which they could solve some of these wicked problems. Through working with this case challenge, working with two other Georgetown MBA students, I was really able to understand how I work best in teams, how to be collaborative, and also think strategically about a big challenge. Georgetown University has a net impact program. Uh, what dovetails off of that is a service corp. The service corp has interns that have been working with SCAP, and these interns have written and crafted and interviewed executives with Covanta to come up with these awesome case studies. Uh, my name is Saha. I go to John F. Kennedy High School and I am in the ninth grade. My role on the team, uh, along with my two student uh, leaders, we interviewed uh, Covanta, which is a uh, energy facility, to understand their challenge, what they were facing, and how could we translate that into a positive experience for students. We have a great synergy with the Leadership Training Institute here at Kennedy High School. I really didn't think about like where all my trash was going after I got rid of it. It was just gone. It wasn't my problem anymore. They're taking it and trying to um, convert it into energy for our communities and they're trying to better the environment. Oh wow, the trash that I'm throwing away is actually powering my refrigerator or my freezer. Even if it's only a small change, at least the materials would be going to the right place so that they could be used in a better way, like powering homes. People just need to learn that trash can affect the world and 
you know, increase pollution. So through my experience with SCAP, I was able to bring what I was learning in the classroom and bring that experience into the community. It's really great to, um, to have employers who are open to listening to the students' ideas because students will come in and say, well, actually, we just did this in class and this is a framework you might want to consider or have you thought about this? And sometimes they will ask tough questions as well. I think the fact that I have like the liking for like engineering and technology and all of that and that's somewhat in like mathematics and that's what's tied into this so it's like something I would be interested in looking more into. They help us achieve our mission. Without them, quite frankly, we would just be sharing concepts but not really getting the kids engaged in it. During the case study, I was able to walk around and ask students if they had any questions, see what solutions they were coming up with, and get to talk to them. And they were all able to ask ask me questions and really get like a dialogue going. When I got here, it met, it exceeded expectations because we were doing hands-on work, listening, asking questions. Young people today are optimistic about their ability to solve some of those problems. And engineering is a great way to apply a really rigorous mindset to thinking about how to solve some of the world's biggest problems. It's a great way to learn more about, you know, reinvigorate my interest in these topics and kind of like remind myself why I'm interested in sustainability. I would recommend this to somebody that has the same interests as me, but even if you don't have the interest, it can open up your interests. Through this experience, I was able to bring what I was learning in the classroom to life, and it's one of the most memorable experiences I have as an MBA student.